Let's do an example combining many of the things that we've learned um, throughout the previous videos in this chapter. This is a bit of a reverse of some of the other problems that we've done in previous examples. Here I want you to solve for one of the half reactions standards potentials instead of starting from that. So instead I give you the standard voltage of one of the half reactions and then the voltage that's read out by the voltmeter. This also means that since we're getting a voltmeter that this would be a um, spontaneous reaction. So start by trying to solve the problem yourself and then pause the video when you are either stuck, need some help, or you think you have it. Let's walk through the problem. As usual, I like thinking about this in the two different methods so that you can take your pick. So if you've been using the reaction, so if you've been using the equation where you use the reduction values for both, let's go ahead and follow along over here. And if you like using the methods where you change the sign of the oxidation reaction and then add them together, then you're going to be following along over here. So our first step is to fill in what we know. We know that the total cell voltage is this 0.91. And then we're told what the zinc electrode is. So we can fill that in. Now, you may say, how did I know to fill in the 0.76 into the anode? And I knew that because it says in the problem that the zinc is oxidized. And since the zinc is oxidized, that value is going to get filled into our anode. So in this case, it's getting filled in as, as its normal reduction potential. Um, and then in this case, we had to change the sign because it's being oxidized. And since it's being oxidized, we need to change the sign now. And of course, either way that you do it, you're going to get a 0 0.15 voltage. Now I ask you to write the cell diagram for this, um, which is another word for cell notation. So let's think about this. We know that zinc is going to be our anode. And so that's going to go first. And we know that tin is going to be our cathode, and that's going to go second. And that we're going to have a salt bridge in between them. Now notice, in this case, we have another slight difference from when we did our previous video, and that these are both aqueous. And so you're not going to have a phase change in between those. So when we write this out, we'll go zinc solid goes to zinc 2 plus. Then we hit our salt bridge. We have our two tin ions. And you just put a comma because there's no phase change. So you just use a comma to separate it. And then we're going to need some sort of inert electrode again because it can't, it can't just like jump in. It, it needs something to transfer. And so we're going to use something like platinum for that. So hopefully this example helps with a few of your homework examples and quiz examples.